talk about an inaugural that has marked its return probably last week. It's not other than Peanutville of the Philosopher's Time, Super Extra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's back, so is Sarah. So, keep on watching. To be honest with you guys, I am so glad this inaugural is back because the first season, I actually laughed my ass off to this anime. It's arguably 2020's funniest anime and probably, yeah, one of the best borderline hentai in recent memory. Let's get down to business. Thumbnail time. The Goblin Queen has just discovered that uh, Goto, one of her, one of her soldiers, is trying to help Peter and Novelia escape. But before that, nalaman natin na about kapapata para ni Peter ito ng nawakabat na grill. Yeah, basically that's what's it. So a new character was introduced for season two, and the uh, a potential new member of Peter's harem. Okay, so. I'll, I'll explain that further as we go along this review. So, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Thanks! If you're not into short form animes, guys, wear a caution. Do not watch Peter Bill. Bottom line. But, if you. If you love the kind of pacing these short form animes bring, yep, Peter Bill is definitely for you. I would personally recommend this anime for you. The basis of this episode truly exemplifies the um the greatness of the situation Peter is in. Because it, well, he's a hostage both physically and sexually. Your sense of urgency, Maranam Daman in this episode, nato, that Peter and Lovelia really need to escape, especially si Peter. Pero uh. You will also sense that uh, that's also that sense of urgency from from his harem, si Lisa, Mimi, si Piglet, and Vigan, and of course si kasama nila si Tim. Truly, the pacing of this episode is just right. And because due to the sexual nature of this anime, to binagaan yung ang pacing dito hindi nila. Uh, First of all, since we not in, but it gets some humor element of anime na po. Right? I tell you guys, the pacing is just like an anime such as Peter Grill, which has both a uh, an adventure element and a humor element, courtesy of, of course, Peter's sexual exploits. <laughs> At saka, tingin nyo, Kung binagawa nila ang pacing sa ganito klaseng short form anime, matatawa pa kayo sa mga sexual escapades ni Peter? <laughs> I don't think so. Flow on. Like, last time, there are not, not too many gear shifts. Okay, kasi short form anime to. Okay? Do not expect a lot of gear shifts in a short form anime. But, I saw two, miraculously. First gear shift here was yung, um, yung pagkakakilanlan ni, ni Peter kay, kay Gobo Ko. And there's everything that this gear ship will tell you is this. Another member of Peter's harem. <laughs> it's not a Gobo Ko's choosing. So, yeah! She was, she forced herself on Peter. So, with that, this gear ship will instantly tell you that Okay, a new character is introduced, a new member of Peter's harem is now in place. <laughs> oh! Grabe! Second gear shift was of course the final scene. No! Na! Peace to peace with the Goblin Queen na! Tinutunong ni Gobo ko si Peter na makataas. Well, that's a little bit of a gear shift folks because... Uh, I'm now assured of myself that we're going to have another exciting episode. And Daniel, short form anime lang ang Peter Grill. But, uh, whether you disagree with me or not, it's one of the most exciting short form animes out there right now. Right? 
So for good, for, for these two gear shifts, no, watch the whole episode, because it's short for nine. You won't totally get these two gear shifts unless you have seen the entire episode. Short for nine ni nga, guys, eh. Right? Kung hindi nyo magsasagat pa ito, eh, talaga hindi nyo magigay sa istorya. Plotwise, you know what? Even during season one, even though it's a it's a short form anime, Peter Grill have really clean plots. And to think the pacing was already that fast. So after after being gone for a long time, this episode's plot, yep, malinis guys, malinis talaga. Because, my clean episode na na, okay? it's less than 15 minutes long. Tapos, yung plot ay medyo, medyo sabun. Wala. It, it, it'll only be a waste of your time. Okay? But, if you're not into, if you're not into the pacing, basically, of short form animes, do not watch any episode of Peter Grill. Dahil hindi nyo talaga magigets ang plot ng bawat episode. So, I should say that Peter Grill is for the, um, is for the advanced anime watcher. Great. But, I tell you guys, even though this is a short form anime, it still has a clean plot. Kailangan eh. Kasi mabilis ka ang PC. Kung lalagyan nyo ng basto, well, may kong basto yung sequence dito, but it's just, it was, uh, it was short enough for the viewer to understand where Goku's going is coming from, ala. Kaya, well, kung dinagda lang pa ng, ng studio ang, 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 ang bad story sequences dito, wala eh. Sira ang plot ng episode. Only one bad story sequence is enough for you to, uh, to understand the, um, the origin of, uh, of their relationship, Goku and Peter. So, based more on plot, I almost did not, didn't um, distinguish the the pacing from the plot. Kasi nga, it's a short form anime. Mabilis ang pacing, tapos, napakalinis pa dapat ng plot. So, yeah, there's a I have to, I have to draw the line between those two really, really closely. Right? Although I was laughing my ass off when I, when I was watching this episode, I really have to gather myself a bit and draw the line between the pacing and the plot. So, Peter Bell, the Philosopher's Time, Super Extra, Episode Two. How am I I only got one simple parting shot for uh, for this anime uh, for for this episode, guys. Welcome back, Peter Grill. <laughs> so again, Peter Grill of the Philosopher's Time Super Extra Episode Two.